my channel my name is Tierra and this is the Black Dress Diaries and today we are going to be talking about how you can celebrate Juneteenth so for those of you who don't know Juneteenth is on June 19th every year and it is a holiday celebrating the end of slavery here in the United States now I know I personally had not heard of Juneteenth until about maybe five or so years ago but I didn't have a full understanding of it until I saw that episode of Blackish that aired about a year or two ago I believe and uh, this year will be the first year that I feel like I am actually going to be celebrating it and I'm super excited about that and here are five different things that you can do to celebrate or honor the holiday. Number one, have a cookout. Juneteenth is a summer holiday and summer holidays are all about getting on on that grill so I think that uh, Juneteenth fits right in there and also cookouts are a huge thing in african-american culture number two see if there are actually any Juneteenth specific events going on nearby I know this is probably going to be more applicable to people who live in cities like the city that I live has a Juneteenth parade every year and I'm super excited to go to it but uh, just you know give it a check and see if there's anything going on near you or in your nearby city maybe you know you can hop on the train or pack up your car and <laughs> spend a day in the city supporting the holiday number three go to an african-american museum this is a good time to find out about the history of african-americans and that's something that is not necessarily prominent in our school systems here in the united states so go to a museum figure out about us most states uh, maybe not cities, but most states will have one, and they might not necessarily be called like an African American museum. Anything with uh, Underground Railroad in the name might be in the name, and uh, civil rights. But go support an African American museum. Number four, this is one that everybody can do no matter where you live, is you can support black business. Now the reason you can do this absolutely everywhere is because of this handy dandy thing called the internet. So there are two websites that I'm going to recommend, and they are supportblackowned. Dot com and that one you can search by category which pretty much means the product or whatever that you're looking for by state so that's super helpful because you can stay local if you would like to and by global I believe was one of yeah global global was one of the categories as well and then also blackwallstreet.com and it's similarly uh, formatted where you can search by category as well as location and I believe that that breaks it down states as well as certain cities as well so you can get even more specific and number five is you can watch a film or documentary about african-american history so the obvious choice is Roots. <laughs> I'll probably be watching Roots the next generation because this past year I watched the original Roots for the first time ever. I know for the first time at my age is <laughs> pretty late but I'm a tender heart so uh, it took me a while to be able to uh, have the emotional maturity to be able to 
stomach it and it was very powerful for me so I definitely am a huge proponent of the original Roots. But I know that Hulu has the Roots reboot if you are not so into the older films. Uh, there is also of course 12 Years a Slave was a really popular one, good old Lupita, and then there are documentaries on um, Amazon Prime if you have Amazon Prime. I think that has the most amount of like PBS or BBC type of documentaries and maybe not BBC, that's British. But maybe, PBS, let's just go with PBS. <laughs> and check out your local library because they'll probably have a whole African American section of different documentaries and uh, films in which you can learn about our history. I wanna thank you for joining us for another Spiritual Revival Hour. We certainly have been hearing from you in the community about the advancements that's happening here at Channel 28. In as much as I started it all, I have been in several meetings this week and there are those of you in the community who are congratulating me and I congratulate uh, the executive director here, Brother Ivan Thomas and his lovely wife and the crew here for the job that they have been doing. Uh, we had a little meeting a few weeks ago in the hallway here and I, I had to leave and go get in my car because I didn't want to break down in, in tears in front of them. I was so happy when you start talking about the progress that's being made here at Channel 28. I often remind myself and remind others and others remind me of, of how we started and the different locations that 28 moved to trying to get started and trying to get off on the right foot. Uh, so when I see the progress that's happening now and the new studio downtown Wilmington there is just outstanding. So friends, I just wanna thank all of you who have met me in the street, those of you who have talked to me in meetings and those who continue to watch the progress and his success, and he at least access 28. I certainly want to thank you, and I appreciate the very positive comments. We've been doing this week, uh, trying to make arrangements with some organizations and agencies that offer uh, job training and jobs to our young people. School is getting out for the summer now. We know we're gonna have a lot of young people in the street. There's a lot of them in the street during the, during the, school, during the school year. So we know with the plus, plus young people in the street this summer, it's gonna be a real hot summer. And uh, summer was kind of warm this winter. So we are trying to locate, and we have talked to several organizations this week. We have about eight organizations, including the Labor Department, we're going to continue to talk with them next week. I won't elaborate too much on it until next week, but by next week, we'll be able to give you information and give our young people information how you can apply for job training and where you can apply for some jobs. The only problem we are running into, and I know a lot of you run into it, and a lot of parents we're talking to run into the same problem with their, their children, the attitude and the behavior of our young people is just out of this world. We have got to work on that. As you know, a few Sundays ago, we had the newly elected president of IMAC, the minister's group there, and my partner, Brother H. Ward Greer. We talked about how we are going to be going into the streets after the benediction, going into the street and talking to our young people, trying to change the attitude and behavior of our young people. It's just out of sight, the mindset that some of our young people have. All of that, all of that is a hindrance from getting a job. If a young person dropping out of school, they don't read properly, they don't have an education, not not a not a level of education, you don't have to be a genius, but not even the level of education, then you don't qualify to get a job. So we're interested in job training. So we have talked to about eight different agencies and organizations, and we're going to continue that on this past week. By next Sunday, we hope to give you a report on where we at on that. Also, I want to thank those of you who have called me 
and I have received calls from young people and old people and from all denominations, all race, creeds, and colors, thanking me for the educational video that we ran on, on the, uh, 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 the, the massacre in Oklahoma on last Sunday. A lot of you say you was educated on what's, what went on. You had heard about it, but you didn't have a lot of details on it. So we was able to run a couple of videos on the spiritual revival I was last Sunday. And a lot of you said you watched it, you got your children to watch it, and you was educated from that. Uh, so we certainly want to thank you for all that's positive. T today we're going to be featured, coming up is the Juneteenth. The Juneteenth celebration is coming up. We have a lot of activity that will be going on starting this coming Sunday, uh, uh, this Sunday, and also on next Saturday for Juneteenth. There's an activity going on at the uh, downtown at the hotel, the Double Tree, on this coming Sunday. On next Saturday night, it will be at Simpson United Methodist Church. And on next Saturday afternoon from 11 until 5 o'clock, there's going to be an outstanding activity, uh, a, 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 sub, a celebration at the Teens Warehouse, 1105 Thatcher Street. That's over South Bridge. 11, I mean, not South Bridge, in North Wilmington, 11th Street Bridge. That's the Th uh, Teens Warehouse. Uh, celebration on Juneteenth, or uh, it's next Saturday, from 11 until 5 o'clock. And we open street there, and many activities will be going over there. We hope that you will join them. Now we found out this week, as we close this update to you, we found out this week that so many of our people don't know anything about Juneteenth. Juneteenth is, is an organization that our, our full parents suffered through. Our full parents still suffer. We're still suffering through some of the segregated things that, that, that we went through with back there. So today on this program, we're going to feature some videos on Juneteenth, how it got started, why, it, why it's important, how it's, how it's so important for you to know about what happened, what happened, the avenues that your grandparents took for you to be enjoying the privilege that you enjoy now. So we hope that again this coming Sunday, if you're listening to me now doing this introduction, you will get your, your children, your grandchildren, call your nieces and nephews and tell them to watch the TV. If they don't know anything about Juneteenth, you will be able to learn something. We're going to run a few videos along with the gospel saying and then the other information here on the spiritual revival out. We hope you enjoy the program today, friends. So until next Sunday, uh, I'm Benjamin Twin B. Brown.
on Medicare. New Medicare Advantage plans are now available. Did you know that you may be eligible for additional Medicare approved benefits that include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more? The Medicare Benefits Hotline is now open. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional Medicare benefits and make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-520-3805 now. In addition to dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage, you may also qualify for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, and no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you're eligible for additional Medicare benefits that may include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. There's no obligation to enroll. Just call 800-520-3805 to see if you qualify. They come to make you strong. Floating on the sea of trouble. Sorrow falling like rain from the sky. Trotting through life's murky waters. Trials form the tears in your eyes. Don't. Telling you there's a blessing on the other side of food. Mm. We know it's cold, but we're on fire. This tax season, nobody beats brandy wine. Nobody. It's an all out price war. You haven't seen prices and furniture, mattresses, rugs, accessories. Anywhere, nor will you anywhere, we'd love you to shop around, because this tax season, nobody beats Brandywine Furniture. Everyone on Medicare. New Medicare Advantage plans are now available. Did you know that you may be eligible for additional Medicare approved benefits that include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more? The Medicare Benefits Hotline is now open. Just call the toll free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional Medicare benefits and make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-520-3805 now. In addition to dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage, you may also qualify for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, and no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you're eligible for additional Medicare benefits that may include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. There's no obligation to enroll. Just call 800-520-3805 to see if you qualify. They come to make you strong. Floating on the sea of trouble. Sorrow falling like rain from the sky. Trotting through life's murky waters. Trials form the tears in your eyes. Don't. Telling you there's a blessing on the other side of. Mm. 
We know it's cold, but we're on fire. This tax season, nobody beats Brandywine. Nobody. It's an all-out price war. You haven't seen prices and furniture, mattresses, rugs, accessories, anywhere, nor will you anywhere. We'd love you to shop around, because this tax season, nobody beats Brandywine Furniture. in your mouth is better than a credit card in your pocket. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, y'all.
guerreiro. He was sweet enough to wake me up. He's been sweet enough to keep me up. But when I get home this evening, he's gonna be sweet enough to lay me down. Oh, something to y'all, yeah, yeah. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Ain't that the sweetest name? 